interesting with the ICJ ruling. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think, I mean, look, I, I want to believe in it, but I, I lost my faith in all these systems many years ago. I was just like, they're all corrupt. In fact, I, get, I got very, very polarized into thinking that they were completely, every single one of them was just completely infiltrated and corrupt and that they were all part of the satanic agenda. I don't have such um, polarized views anymore. I think as you start to heal your own inner polarities and you start to do your own shadow work and you start to recognize how we're all very, very complicit within this system and the higher up you go, the more complicit you become in a system that dominates the earth, indigenous people, animals, you know, the land, just the, the divine feminine, that you know, the, this reptilian misogynistic force that's been enslaving humanity because we are fractals of Sophia, we are fractals of the Divine Mother, we are fractals of Pashamama Gaia, who is a fractal of the Divine Feminine. It's been subjugating and enslaving us and um, like seducing us into becoming one with it, becoming complicit with it. So, you know, this earth is a test. It's are you gonna choose God or are you gonna choose the enemy? And where have you chosen God and where have you chosen the enemy? And once you start to see things like that with a bit more nuance, you can see that these agencies are, you know, there's a lot of people who are trying to do their best, but they're doing it within a system that has been corrupted and infiltrated. And if you listen to interviews with people who work for like the UN or the ICJ or the ICC, you'll, you'll get that. Like you'll see that like, a lot of them are being threatened, you know, just like with the whole Epstein thing, or even if they couldn't be corrupted, it was, you know, it's kind of just like the higher you move up, like if you don't do what we tell you, we're going to hurt you, we're going to hurt your family, we're going to destroy your, your livelihood. I mean, many of us are seeing that, that the more that we stand for God, the more we stand for truth, the more we stand for justice, the more the enemy and you know, this narcissistic, reptilian, misogynistic, antichrist force and its flying monkeys will try and suppress you, will try and fuck with you, will try and, you know, just, you know, destroy your livelihood, you know, make your life difficult, you know, and this, it, it works on a deep level. It works on like, you know, like the dark forces, demonic forces, getting into people's light bodies through their wounding. Like the deception is so insidious and it's been happening for so long because it's infiltrated even our religions. You know, I've talked about, you know, Yahweh, um, the God of the Old Testament and how the obfuscation of the text where they basically attributed so many, um, you know, passages that were attributed to Yahweh or other fallen Elohim to God. You know, they just use those words interchangeably, but Yahweh's not God, Yahweh's not the most high. And if you read the Old Testament, you will see God would never agree with like exterminating bloodlines. God would never tell you to like, you know, <laughs> destroy other people, like destroy women, children, you know, animals, burn houses. God would never tell you to enslave others. Um, it's just, I just really hope that people wake up to that. But you know, people want to hold on to things that they've held on to for generations that, you know, uh, yeah, like I understand it's, it's hard to break the programming. Um, and everybody's, you know, so wounded and traumatized by, you know, all the bloodline trauma that we've been experiencing on this planet, all the war timelines, you know, the targeting of our union templates with the masculine feminine split, which I'm going to talk about as well, because there's a massive uh, curse in the, um, there's a bloodline curse with the masculines that's been clearing as well. So we're going to talk about that as well. Um, so yeah, we, with the ICJ ruling, um, I don't think that we need to like be completely despondent and be like, oh, they're useless, they're not doing anything. I think that they're trying their best. They're doing their best within a broken system. All of us are doing our best. We're doing what we can. I mean, I'd love to 
kind of go to Gaza and just help, like physically help people and like fight people who are like committing genocide and, you know, literally get aid into people's mouths and stuff like that. But, you know, everybody just has to do what they can, you know, if what you can do is write letters, then write letters, you know, whether they're, I know a lot of people have lost faith also in, you know, writing to MPs, I feel very despondent about writing to my MP, especially because my MP is, he's like one of the conservative friends of Israel, which is the US equivalent of that would be like, he's bought by APAC, like friends of Israel is like our, our version of APAC. So he's like, I wrote to him at the start of this and he came out with a load of Zionist nonsense and it just, it, 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 it really upset me and then I sat on it for a week and then I re replied again and I gave him like indisputable evidence of genocidal intent. I was just like, you've got this defense minister that said this, you've got the prime minister that said this, you've got the ambassador to the UK who said this, you've got this guy, uh, Ezra Yakin, who was hired by the Israeli occupation forces to boost morale and he's like the mass he we committed a massacre in Yerdasin with during the 1948 Nakba um telling people to just kill everyone to kill every woman to kill every child to erase the memory of them I gave like quotes like showing clear genocidal intent like this is the most it's not just the most well documented genocide in history because of you know journalists on the ground who are literally posting videos showing like the brutal reality of what's happening to them and that's you know extremely traumatic for all of them and for all of us bearing witness as well um but it's just exposing israel and then you've got the israeli media that are just no holds barred just being completely brazen with their genocidal intent then you still have some people denying that there's a genocide happening i'm like are you Delulu? Like, are you okay? Like, are you right in the head? <laughs> like, you're insane. <laughs> like, you're literally insane. Like, how am I sharing the planet with these people? And I find it crazy that people, I, you know, I hear some people going, oh, what do you expect? You know, this is the world, it's fucking evil. And I get that, but that's a very, it's just a very nihilistic worldview. I do think that humanity can do better. I do think that our true nature is love. Our true nature is good. Our true nature is unity consciousness when we connect to that. I know it sounds a bit kumbaya because I'm also very realistic about the traumas that we face on this planet and how those traumas cause us to act out and continue perpetuating all these yeah, just continue to perpetuate the, what's the word, the cycle of trauma and continue with all these, you know, bloodline curses and things like that, that really need to be cleared, which is why the ancestral healing is going to be so, so important going forward. So I started doing a lot of ancestral clearing, clearing with my one-on-ones. Um, hopefully I'm just doing my website at the moment and I'm, I've, I have a lot on my plate right now, but in the future, I want to be bringing a lot of like group clearings that will be much more accessibly priced than my one on ones so that we can do you know the work of clearing the ancestral bloodlines my 12 tribes webinar is going to go into this as well whenever that's ready it's you know you all know it's 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 a huge subject so it's taking some time um so please be patient with that but like if you want to do some bloodline clearing just through your own ancestry then contact me about a one on one and we can definitely do that together Hi loves, that was just an excerpt from my full length Ascension update. If you like what you heard and you wanna watch the whole video in full, it's like one hour, 10 minutes, click the link in my bio. Mwah.